Welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows, movies, and movie trailers. Today's movie trailer that I will be reviewing is The Unholy. But before I get into my review of this movie trailer, if you are enjoying the content, please like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notification and smash that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And now, on to the review. Listen, I have a story for you. Something the examiner will love. A healing, possibly divine. A girl performing miracles after a visitation from the Virgin Mary. Chicago, New York, D.C., every demographic on this planet is eating this up. Give me the exclusive. All right, I think I got this all set up. What do you say we do a couple real easy questions? How many are going to watch? Mary wants to reach as many people as possible. Maybe millions. There are people out there that don't believe in your miracles. How would you respond to those folks? Seeing is believing. And why do you think Mary chose you? I opened myself up and welcomed her in. Witnesses of the Virgin Mary draw millions of faithful each year. The Vatican's been tasked to investigate this visitation from the Blessed Virgin. I have read several libraries worth on the supernatural. <laughs> Investigated half a dozen miracles. Prove them all false. She's here. You think there could be other forces at play here? When God builds a church, the devil builds a chapel next door. Don't doubt her. Doubt weakens faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. This is not the work of the Virgin Mary. It's the work of the unholy. Faith in evil and power zero. Believe in her. Offer your soul. To Mary! Holy Mary, Mother of God, the Lord is with you. I'm going to be honest, I'm not particularly a fan of horror movies but I do watch them because I enjoy movies and it's not necessarily that I get scared or that I don't enjoy them it's for a minute there I would say from the whole late 90s up to I would say mid 2015s around there like the mid 20 2010s and stuff um, they were they were not more or less scary movies, more or less like jump scares. You know, they would have the loud music. It was all about the jump scare. Nothing really intrigued me about them or as far as scared me. And don't get me wrong. There's a few of them that did kind of get under my skin. And I enjoy that aspect that they can make me feel something other than laughter and excitement and feeling fear is something that us as humans have to experience you know when you go on a roller coaster that you're you know scared of or you're going skydiving or you're going bungee jumping something where it's it's, it's excitement but it, it also makes you fear a little bit and that feeling is exciting exhilarating also for that's why people like going to you know haunted houses and getting scared during halloween so i do enjoy the genre i do enjoy watching the movies and in the in the 
early late 80s early 90s i mean i was so young i was like nine or ten in the in the late 80s and in the early 90s but we had those movies like nightmare on elm street like jason like hellraiser like chucky that were so different and i'm talking about the originals not the remakes but they were so original and so and they scared you out of your out of your skin that that's what the horror that's the the horror movies that i miss and that i I did enjoy but with that being said this trailer for the unholy it's super intriguing i'm excited to see what is the the full idea uh you know when you hear when you see the trailer they're obviously saying hey you know what she's coming in the name of mary obviously i'm gonna call him negan because he the the guy from the walking dead uh is starring in this show and He's basically like a reporter and in the trailer, he wants the exclusive to bring this because this this young girl is performing miracles in the name of Mary, you know, Jesus's mom, basically. And I'm assuming there's a false idol aspect to this a little bit because some of the preachers are against this kind of practice, even though uh, she is performing miracles. She's, it looks like she's healing a, a kid that has that can't walk and, and is, is, is bound to a wheelchair and she somehow helps him walk. And so she's performing miracles, but like the du- duality of everything, the devil can also make miracles and show himself to be like Jesus. And this is the avenue that they're taking. It did remind me a little bit of of the Llorona a little bit. I don't know if a lot of people are familiar or, or remember that movie. I'm sure a lot of people do, but it, it kind of let me, um, it kind of felt like that belonged in that universe. So I'm not sure if, if this movie is anywhere near that part or associated or continuing that, that, uh, that universe, but I'm excited. I, uh, I'm interested. I'm going to see this movie in, I'm going to go to the movie theaters and and watch this movie and get that full experience and, and see where it takes me. But I'm hopeful. It kind of feels like a, a step back to what horror movies were supposed to be, you know, suspenseful, but with a great premise and adding a new, uh, a new age feel and by new age i don't mean like the religion i mean like just bringing it into 2021 what it would be like with mass media coverage if someone did have these kind of powers and what kind of following they would have when someone is out there performing these miracles all of a sudden it'll be worldwide news and it'll be all over within hours and it's 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 interesting to see that concept so let me know what you guys thought about this trailer in the comments are you guys excited do you guys think it'll be the same cookie cutter horror genre that we've been seeing or are you hopeful i mean sam raimi is known for for his horror uh, stuff his dark stuff I know he's uh, directing the Spider-Man movies uh, right now or or working on the Spider-Man movie now. So, but I'm excited to see what his vision is for this, for this movie. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. And like always, that's a wrap.